What's up, everybody? This is quarantine day eight. This is tenant Thursday. All right, so we're going to talk about some tips to deal with your tenants and how to maintain a relationship, um, a business relationship uh, with your tenants. Now, for me, it's kind of like a two-part tip. Uh, first part is basically real estate is a people business okay it's all based on relationships whether it's between your agent your property manager uh, your lawyer um, and the actual tenant uh, themselves okay um, now when we talk about having a people you know being a people business um, it can either be in a house hacking scenario where your tenants are actually living with you they're your roommates um, or you're managing your rentals from a distance, doing long distance real estate investing, where you're working through a team, you know, a property manager, things like that. Either way, uh, you still have to treat your tenants like gold. Um, now, when I say this, um, you know, treating your tenants like gold, you might immediately come to mind if you're if you're been in real estate for a little bit of that one tenant that caused y'all headaches and caused a whole bunch of issues, trash the place, etc. Um, in that type of scenario, you kind of uh, rewind a little bit and kind of take ownership of it and think to yourself, you know, did I do my part in properly screening this person? Uh, was I behind on another month's rent and I just wanted to get somebody in there to make it count and now it, you know, cost me X amount of thousands of dollars, you know, in damage type of thing. Um, so basically what I'm getting at is um, as soon as you start seeing these guys, these renters, as a number bad things begin to happen um, there's poor communication on all accounts whether it's between you and the roommates you and the property manager who's managing uh, your rental property um, and it's, you know you could have potential evictions going on all of which all three of those are going to be costing you money which is going to decrease your cash flow that we're you know we so care about um, and we're, we're going to have a whole lot less money coming in our pockets every single month. Um, I'll give you a prime example. Uh, my current roommate right now, uh, I was still on deployment and my prior renters, uh, they, they left early. They cut the lease early, uh, which is totally cool. Uh, they went and uh, moved uh, somewhere else. They, the SCRA was able, um, allowed them to do that, you know, so no one, Typically, you know, business like you can't just randomly break a lease, right? Um, the lawyer fees, stuff like that. But here, uh, the SCRA um, allowed, allowed them to do that, which is totally cool. So I had a month of vacancy and I was like, okay, that's totally fine. I've prepared for it. I got another month left and I'll be home. But I decided right towards the end to start advertising it. And I got a, you know, I had the place rented in about two days. You know, it was a person who I had worked with in the past and they were about to move out to Hawaii, but they had, they were selling all their stuff. So I know typically it takes about two to three weeks, potentially four weeks, to get your car out there. And my car was already sitting here. Uh, the place was my place was empty. My car was on base, um, being washed by one of my coworkers, and different people were using the car throughout the whole time. And when uh, I reached out, you know, to this potential renter, you know, the person I worked with, I was saying, hey, you know, if we if we go this price, you know, I'll tell you all the gate codes and whatnot, it'll at least give you a place to stay, you know, and not, you know, spending crazy amount of money um, in hotels, you're, you'll be able to watch the place, uh, and you can use my car, because you're going to have to go around, you're going to be doing your you know, 14 days quarantine at the time, but you know, you're gonna have access to my car. Uh, it'll allow you to kind of keep keep the car moving so it's not sitting, um, you know, for the duration of the time, at, you know, on base. And, you know, let me know what you think, you know? And um, we, we kind of, one thing after another, we, we locked in, you know, a 12 month lease and now it covers me through um, my PCS season, you know, my PCS next, next May of 21. So it worked out perfect. Um, this is a, uh, definitely a different scenario I'm not saying going out to um, let your tenants just rent out your car or whatnot now in a house hacking strategy where you're trying to you know be on the fast track to live financially free and you know, especially in Craig Kirlop's book which, which we talked about a couple videos back um, one of the things is you're renting out every single bedroom 
to, this is like to the extreme. Renting out every single one of your bedrooms, you're potentially living on the couch, you're making all this money, and, and if you're close enough to work where you can bike to work, you're biking to work, and then you put your car on Turo, and someone rents, you know, uses your car. So you're basically living for free, and you're getting all this money coming in every month, and you're reinvesting it into assets that are going to make you money. So more, you know, real estate properties. I'm not saying do that. That is the extreme. Everyone's, you know, scenario and um, is a little different. But uh, in this situation, it worked for me. It allowed her to, you know, not have to worry about anything coming here. And, you know, being prior military, you know, we kind of, you want to help out your own. And especially, you know, you know, friends and you know, friends and family. Um, and that's, that's a whole nother topic as far as renting out to your family. But uh that kind of wrapping it up today about uh, tenant tips. It's a people business, okay, and you want to treat your tenants like gold. Um, next Thursday, we'll talk about specific, um, you know, things that we can do, you know, throughout the course of a year um, that can maintain a relationship with your, with your tenant. So, hope you guys have a good rest of your night, and uh, we'll try to get a, a earlier video for my East Coast folks tomorrow. All right?